Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer and thank you for being here today. Have I got something special today? Okay, I was actually just doing a reading for a lady who lives in America. Her initial is the letter A and she lives in America. She asked me to connect with her spirit guide. Not only did her spirit guide come through, which I'm going to give you some confirmations about today, okay? But her spirit guide has just told me how to teach you how to heal yourself. Oh my God! Now, before we go down the track of what happened today, I want to tell you about what I do. I am a near-death experiencer and one of my psychic abilities is that I see, talk to and communicate with spirit guides. So the thing that I love doing is when I have people on the Zoom or Skype, Facebook Messenger, they come to my house, we do video phone calls, regardless of how we communicate, their spirit guides turn up. So, in the last few months, I've had a gerbil. I've had <clears throat> a pig. I've had a pterodactyl in my backyard. Look at the size of that guy sitting on my chair and his pterodactyl turned up. Okay? Bengal tiger turned up. Okay? We've got a hippie girl just um, from last weekend turned up. Okay, so I love it when I write, draw pictures of people's spirit guides. Look, Taiwanese, a Thailand monk turned up one day. Okay, so I see, talk with, and communicate with spirit guides. Oh, I love, love, love this ability. And I love telling people what their spirit guides are. So then they can research what does a lion mean spiritually or what's the significance of a Russian lady from the 1600s or whatever I tell people and any other messages that I get, okay? One lady I had, her little animal came through. It was like a squirrel and he had all these oranges that he was storing in his mouth. And I said, I don't know what the story is without all these about all these oranges, but he's telling me that you've got to keep the oranges. And she said, well, first of all, my surname is Orange and we own an orange orchid. They grow orange trees. So I said, your spirit guide, because they keep us on our path, they want, uh, he wants you to keep the orange orchid. And she said, well, funny thing, we just had a meeting last week. We're trying to work out whether we have to keep it or sell it. And I said, keep it, keep it, because your spirit guide's telling me that for whatever reason, you're going to need it in the future. Okay? So I see spirit guides. If you want me to see your spirit guide, please know I have to do it in person via Zoom, Skype, Facebook Messenger, video call on our phones if you're in Australia or if you're local you can come to my house because I love it when people turn up to my house and I see their spirit guides, okay? So there is a charge for it obviously because it's energy works but it's always a donation so please know I'll send you over my PayPal link if you want to donate towards seeing your own spirit guide. My email is below in the description, Linda at Linda Ray. Contact me and we can certainly organize about a half an hour chat where I tell you what your spirit guides are. Okay, so what happened this morning? Boom! Look at my voice, I'm already going hoarse. Boom! So I was talking to A from America. It is a girl, okay? And she has given me consent to do this video. I said to her, A, A, I've got to do a video right now. I've got to get off the phone because your spirit guide is so imperative telling me that he's got to get this word out there to help others heal themselves, okay? So, oh my God, first thing that happened, I did this little thing, which is in my spirit guide book that's coming out hopefully in two weeks, okay? It's called Spirit Guides and Life Paths Explained. So I will be doing competitions where I'm giving away free copies of this as PDFs, okay? 
please know it's not going to be in hard copy format because it's so expensive for printing and postage. Go up to your local print shop, print your own copy. Saves you money. I don't get the commissions for it, obviously, if it's um, as a hard copy, but I don't care. I just want you to get this information for as cheaply as possible, okay? So I said to this woman, oh my God, I can't believe it. Your Indian has come through and he is a Cherokee. Not only did we get that confirmation, but she actually said, my history is the Cherokee. Out of all the tribes of Native Americans in America, who would have guessed it that hers was Cherokee? Oh my God. So I'm just going down the page a little bit because there was one here that really did look like her spirit guide. And I showed her the picture and she said, oh my gosh, that is my ancestors. And here he is. So he looks like that. Wow. So he had his knees up. He was sitting on his bottom and he had his knees folded and he was resting his elbows on the top of his knees and his hands were like that. And then he says to me, oh my God. Are you ready for this? He says, she must learn to heal herself. So I'm looking at him and he, what he does is he puts one. Now, this is an exercise that I want you all to do. Do it live with me now as you're watching this and see if this works for you too. Because he wants us to all learn how to do this. And it's as easy as putting two hands in the air. Okay. So you put your first hand out. doesn't matter which hand. Okay. I'm just going to put my left hand out, but it has to be flat, okay? It has to be flat. And then the other hand, all you do is sprinkle salt, but there's no salt. So imagine that you're sprinkling salt and you go around in a circle above your hand. And as you do this, sprinkle, 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 you do your oms or what he was doing was like a noise now between the wooing of that energetic frequency that he's creating and this little vortex of energy as it's going around my hand's tingling right now oh my god i my i'm telling you my hand is right now starting to tingle oh so then guess what he said he said, don't just do it over your hand, do it over your head. And I'm talking to A in America only half an hour ago. And I said to her, I said, now do it around the top of your head. You're just doing a circle, right? So you're doing a circle, right? Around your top of your head, like you're sprinkling salt. I'll just lower myself down so you can see it. Sprinkle, sprinkle salt. And you're doing this. Woo, 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 woo. And it doesn't matter if it's semi um clockwise or anti-clockwise as it's long as you're making a circle okay because that's the energy in the he explained it to me it's causing that friction of energy and with the woo 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 vibration we're creating a higher vibration which creates health bingo so whenever I do my spirit guide readings, I always like at least one confirmation that I get, okay? So this morning I said to this guy, it was only like half an hour ago, I said to this Indian, I said, one, we've got the confirmation that you're a Cherokee Indian. She recognises a Cherokee because it was her grandparents were a Cherokee tribe, okay? So there we have it. But I need something else. And as I thought those, because I didn't say it to her, I was just thinking, I need another confirmation. He said his name. And I wrote it down, and it's like Cha, C H A, P A T C H I, Chapachi, Chapachi, or something like that. And he looked at me and he said, You can call me Chopper for short. Tell her my name is Chopper. And then I just got this knowing of 30 years ago. So I looked at A from America and I said, He's telling me that his name is this Chapakchi name, but you can call him Chopper for short. And it's relevant to you for who you were 30 years ago. She says, clear as day, Linda, 30 years ago I used to ride motorbikes every day. 
and they were choppers. <laughs> There's your confirmation, guys. This stuff is real. How would I know a chopper? Here in Australia, choppers are helicopters. Okay? So, okay. So it's not like a higher, higher, higher Indian noise that he was making. Higher, 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 higher. It wasn't like that. It was like a woo noise. Woo, 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 woo. See the difference? So it's not higher. Higher, 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 higher. It's like a woo. Woo, 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 Because we're creating that energy. And with the friction of going around in a circle, we're creating that heat of energy, which makes things work. So then he looked at me, this Cherokee Indian, and he told me that he was from like the 1890s, okay? So I don't know what the relevance there with, with A is, but that's something for her to work out, right, in her history or whatever. But what he did tell me was that, um, oh gosh, we all need to learn this healing, okay? We all need to learn this healing healing and then he looked at me and he said she's had COVID 13 three times and the reason why she has never healed COVID and that's why she keeps getting it again and again is because she needs to learn how to eradicate it from her system so A from America, she actually said to me, I'm drinking all these wild teas because I did a video. Remember my teas with turmeric, ginger, lemon, honey, etc. She's been doing all this. But I said no, because that's only from the inside out. This energy healing that he's telling us about today, which is like sprinkling salt in a circle, this energy heals us holistically. It heals simultaneously all over our body not just from the inside out or the outside in it heals both sections at the same time so I'd like you all to try this comment below if it works for you I love my confirmations but not just for my ego because if you comment oh my god Linda I did this and it worked the next day I felt great that means somebody else may be watching this in three months time and they say, wow, I needed to hear that today. I'm going to try it. Okay. So think about the ripple that we do from comments on YouTube. Okay. So just sprinkle salt in a circle like this. So I'll do it in a, it's like that. Just sprinkle, sprinkle, but obviously on the ground level. Start with your hand first and see if you get the, oh my God, I've got the tingles. Now this is my energy here hand. When I put this hand over somebody like this, don't, I don't physically touch them. That's how I cured my brain tumor. That's how I get rid of my back, my shoulder pain because I've got a broken neck. Okay, I've got a broken neck and I had a brain tumor three years ago. I have not had any surgery to correct these things. I am not dying from cancer and I do not have a quadriplegic. Okay, I'm not a quadriplegic. So we can do this ourselves. And that's the biggest message of today, which is getting me so excited. We need to learn this ourselves, he said, so we don't rely on others to create our own health within. Tell me your thoughts, guys. Does it work for you? I want to hear your confirmations. Put them down as a comment because the more we share this, share this video with anyone else that's not feeling well. Anyone that's got COVID or any other viruses, diseases, tumors, cancers, share it with them and let's get this power of the Cherokee tribe. Thank you so much. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> let's get this going, guys. Let's see how it works. And most of all, remember what I say in my Law of Attraction book, believe and trust that this exists. Because as soon as we believe in the power of what we cannot see, hear, touch, smell. Or what's the other one? I'll let you guys decide what the fifth sense is. So see if you're listening. But the more that we do all this, the more we create the energy of love. Because in a love energy, sickness, diseases, and most of all, mental health does not exist 
for there is simply no energetic alignment for it to happen. Hope you're all having a great day. Talk to you all soon. Bye. Hey guys, if this video today has resonated with you and you thought it has helped you with your own personal development, please help support my channel by clicking on the PayPal link below. Also, if you think that you won't have any friends or family who would benefit from the information that I share, please let them know about my channel. I am always open to other suggestions of videos that I can do on here, so please email me if you've got any suggestions of videos that you want or other improvements that you think that I could do on here. This channel is about you ultimately, and I hope that the videos sharing that I do with the information that I give and the knowledge and the wisdom of both myself as well as her always helps you to grow more and to be the best potential that you can be. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.